Ever wondered how industries measure the level of solids, liquids, and slurries in a tank? Today, we delve into the world of capacitance level measurement. This fascinating method of level measurement uses a capacitive level transducer, an indirect way to measure levels, which is used across a wide variety of industries. It's versatile, capable of measuring everything from solids to aqueous and organic liquids, and even slurries. It's often referred to as RF, due to the radio frequency signals applied to the capacitance circuit. These sensors can be designed to sense materials with dielectric constants as low as 1.1, like coke and fly ash, and as high as 88, like water, or even higher. Even substances with similar dielectric constants can be differentiated, thanks to phase modulation and the use of higher frequencies. As we can see, capacitance level measurement plays a vital role in many industries. But how does it work? The secret to understanding capacitance level measurement lies in the concept of capacitance. To put it simply, a capacitive level measurement system works much like a basic capacitor, a device in physics that stores electrical energy. In our case, an insulated electrode acts as one plate of the capacitor, while the tank wall, or a reference electrode in a non-metallic vessel, acts as the other plate. The value of the capacitance depends on the level of the fluid in the tank, an empty tank has a lower capacitance, while a filled tank has a higher capacitance. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is this capacitance? Well, capacitance is a measure of a capacitor's ability to store energy, and it depends on a few factors. The equation for capacitance, C, involves the absolute permittivity of free space, a constant denoted as E, the relative dielectric constant of the insulating material, represented by K, the effective area of the conductors, A, and the distance between the conductors, ED. The change in capacitance, then, is measured using an AC bridge. As the fluid level in the tank rises or falls, the effective area of the conductors changes, leading to a change in capacitance. This change can be detected and used to accurately measure the level of the material in the tank. So the level of the material in the tank directly affects the capacitance. But how do we measure this change? The measurement of this change in capacitance is where the magic happens. An RF signal is applied between the conductive probe and the vessel wall, leading to a very low current flow. This flow is through the dielectric process material from the probe to the vessel wall. As the level in the tank drops, the dielectric constant drops, causing a dip in the capacitance reading and a minute drop in current flow. This change is detected by the level switch's internal circuitry. In point level detection, it's translated into a change in the relay state of the level switch. On the other hand, in continuous level detectors, the output is a scaled analog signal, not a relay state. Now let's talk about the three categories of level measurement. First, we have non-conductive material. For this, a bare probe arrangement is used, as the high resistance of the liquid makes it a dielectric. Second, we have conductive materials. Here, the probe plates are insulated with a thin coating of glass or plastic to prevent short circuiting, with the conductive material acting as the ground plate of the capacitor. Lastly, we have non-contact measurements. In these cases, the area of the capacitance plates is fixed but the distance between the plates can vary. And that, in essence, is how capacitance level measurement works. It's a clever combination of physics and engineering, enabling accurate level measurements across a vast range of materials. Let's quickly recap what we've learned about capacitance level measurement. We've delved into its working principle, how capacitance changes with fluid level, and the crucial role of the capacitance equation. We've also explored different measurement techniques for various materials. So the next time you see a tank in an industry, remember, there's likely a capacitance level measurement sensor silently doing its job. Thanks for joining us in this fascinating exploration of capacitance level measurement.